welcome back to another vlog you guys it's monday and we're starting a week in my life or a few days in my life we'll see how long it ends up being but welcome back um i'm letting my hair like air dry right now so it's like half wet half dry if you're wondering what's going on with this i just wanted to say that i was too lazy to like dry it and style it today so we're just gonna see what happens with this Anyway, it's been a bit since I vlogged. I don't think I vlogged in like around two weeks because my last video was like pre-filmed before I went out of town. So I went to Georgia for six days with Jared. We got to see my parents, a good amount of my friends. I got to meet my first best friend ever's baby that is like two months old now. I got to meet her and hang out with her and just a lot of like fulfilling cute little fun stuff. I got to see a couple of my really good girlfriends and just have some like quality time with Jared and yeah my family and friends. So I got back from that last week and I've kind of been like settling back in. I worked uh, my organizing job on Friday and I'm also working tomorrow, which is exciting. I've been getting on the schedule a little bit more this month, which I'm excited about because I have been wanting to work a little bit more. So yeah, tomorrow I'll be going to work and I'll still be doing this vlog like through tomorrow. So I'll tell you guys like what we get up to. But today's Monday and I'm just kind of like starting the week with some things that I want to get done today. So my main things, let's see, I have my planner right here. I think I actually do want to like plan some stuff. I still have my desk calendar set for May, which I feel like it just keeps getting away from me. Like I remember last month it was like May 10th or when did I do this? I guess maybe it was like May 7th or yeah, something around there and I and I had just started writing on it. So I want to fill this out and get some like ideas for the month when I want to like upload and kind of what content I want to do this month. So I want to plan out my work for the next hopefully like at least couple weeks i'm gonna call my grandma today i've been meaning to catch up with her she called me when i was on my trip and it's just been in my head to like call her back when we got back so i want to talk to her i'll probably do that when i like take the dogs out in an hour or two and then um start this vlog which i'm doing now um edit a patreon video which i still haven't edited because i actually kind of forgot about it but it's my sesh video my return to smoke sesh videos so i want to at least get that hopefully up by like tomorrow because I didn't intend to like forget to edit it and it just got away from me and then go to the post office and go to Orange Theory at 5 30 and then probably like cook with you guys I want to make this really yummy recipe that I have made before and I want to show it to you guys it's these buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers and I'm not even the biggest buffalo chicken person but we made these probably like a month or so ago and I was obsessed like they are so good i'm gonna have my little planning sesh and do some stuff on my laptop which is here you can't really tell but i need to just like get caught up on some like videos that are upcoming and look at some things like that and i am like feeling a little a little bit better about like work stuff i remember i talked about that recently and it was a really 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 slow quarter one for me and even what are we in now the end of quarter two i guess quarter two is april may june i've actually had a pretty slow quarter two as well so it's just been a hard year for feeling um i guess stable in my work which has been something that i've been struggling with and why i've been really grateful to have like my part-time job because i can kind of throw my energy into that when i didn't feel as busy with um work opportunities like besides just making my like normal uploads and stuff like that but i am feeling better things have been coming in a little bit more since it's the summer which summer usually is a little bit busier for brand deals and things like that so i did just want to let you guys know that i do have some upcoming brand deals that i'm very excited about and i just feel like i am in a bit of a better place with that so that's like just a personal thing for me that i've been feeling more like stable and that's always a good feeling because it's a bit scary to not feel like stable in your work and with this job it's very easy to be up and down and how you're feeling about that anyway this has been a really long intro i've been talking for like seven minutes already looking like a freaking mess so maybe i will actually blow out my hair i don't know i'm looking at myself in the viewfinder i'm like girl what is going on <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, it's time for my lunch. I'm having some leftovers. This is some risotto and sweet potatoes and carrots. I know it looks a little charred, but I kind of like to like low-key burn, <laughs> almost burn my roasted sweet potatoes. So I just air fried these up and then heated up the risotto in the microwave. And of course I'm having my midday poppy. <laughs> Today we're having a strawberry lemon. It kind of matches my, I don't know why I'm showing you from this angle, <laughs> my shirt. I've been doing some editing and stuff and then I just took a little break. I took the dogs to the park for a while. I called my grandma and we caught up. It was so nice to chat with her and just like update her on my life and hear from her. And I just heated up some lunch. I'm gonna hopefully finish editing this video. That's my goal. It's decently long, but I think I can finish it before my workout class. I'm pretty sure if I really, put my mind to it so that's what I'm about to do sorry it's not the most exciting start to the vlog but this is just kind of a getting things done on the computer type of afternoon and here's the boys oh god <laughs> that's what Squirtle does when Cholula comes up on him when he's not expecting it hi sweet boys hi my honeys we had an extra long walk at the park today and they were super good so Squirtle's a little exhausted from that and hopefully later today I can unpack my suitcase because it's been too long she gotta get up off the flow. All right, I finished my work. I'm uploading my Patreon video, so I'll link it up here if you guys want to check it out. I probably won't be promoting it on my socials since it is a sesh video, and I always just get a little bit like, you never know who's like watching your stories and stuff. So I'm promoting it right here, right now. Anyway, I'm in my room now, and I have a huge, you can't even see it, but I have a huge laundry basket. Still can't see it. <laughs> Let me just, <sighs> Here it is. <laughs> I did most of my laundry yesterday before bed. I got through two baskets, big baskets, and I still have all this left. This is also some of my unpacking from my trip. I'm gonna get this done, and then we're gonna get ready for Orange Theory in about 45 minutes, 30 minutes, something like that. So I think I have enough time to get all this done. just not hang up everything in the closet which will be easy to do when I get back there's a very cute sploo that you have going on Mr. Squish <laughs> so I'm headed out but I'm very glad I was so productive and got like all my stuff done I feel like I got more done than I thought I was gonna be able to today okay my hair looks a little crazy <laughs> again but I'm home I had a good workout it wasn't like too crazy hard today so that was good glad i went as always why is i just realized i went to take lemonade out of the fridge and i had took oat milk out and it was sitting there and i was like did i leave that out all day okay here's what i actually wanted um i'm gonna make a little mocktail i guess you could say i brewed this herbal tea or it's like a fruity tea can't remember what the notes of it were. I, I thought it would be better iced, so I brewed it and then I just like waited for a really long time. So I like to pour fun drinks that aren't alcohol into a wine glass because it makes me feel really elevated and it feels like you're having just this like fancy experience. So I do that a lot and I think I'm gonna have the tea and mix it with a little bit of lemonade, but I wanna try, I'm scared to do this, but I wanna try the tea on its own first. I'm so surprised I didn't spill that. This looks like red wine to be completely honest with you. Oh, that's good. 
it kind of reminds me of like it's pretty similar to the passion tea from starbucks honestly just like a little bit less sweet that is really good i think i'm going to pour just a little more in save the rest for tomorrow and add a little bit of lemonade to sweeten it and just give it a little you know we'll see if this tastes like a a passion tea lemonade from starbs stop that's so good that's like kind of better than a passion tea lemonade that is delicious i have all of these like iced teas well i don't know they're like teas that are like summery teas that i just i'm not a big like hot tea drinker especially like an herbal tea i'm more of like a creamy tea person if i do have like a hot tea so i have all these teas that i got like last summer that i really need to like start brewing because i kind of forget about them in the pantry so i think i'm just gonna do something like i did today and like i brewed two cups of it and then just like make a little lemonade drink with it, like an iced tea lemonade, or just, yeah, make a little fun drink with it. So I'm gonna change out of my workout clothes and then I'm gonna start making these buffalo chicken stuffed bell peppers. Can't wait to show you guys. All right, we're in the pantry and the lighting is never great in here, but um, I made my rice and I wanna make sure it's like ventilated from the Instant Pot, so oh yeah, nothing, nothing happened. It's already been venting on its own for 16 minutes let me check on it once again there's kind of a weird shadow in here but look at that rice yep, it looks pretty good i'll definitely try it to make sure but i have a confession and i'm announcing it because if i can help someone or share this with someone that had the same you know um <laughs> embarrassing moment as me it's not that embarrassing but i basically forgot that the instant pot is like a rice cooker and i always make my rice which is not that difficult to make rice on the stove it's really not i was watching something recently and she was like just make the rice in the instant pot it's a rice cooker or something and i literally blinked that there's like a whole rice function on here um so i did it the other week and the rice was so quick you literally just put it from what i did last time and it worked out perfectly you just put it on high pressure for three minutes which is crazy that is that quick and then you just let it naturally vent for at least 10 minutes but i just wanted to share for anyone that might have an instant pot that blanked on that like me because it is quicker and i find even easier to not have to check on it on the stove and i just completely have never made rice in my instant pot before i make a lot of soups we make other stuff in here but for some reason i've just never made rice in here it seems so far to be elevating my life so I thought I would share. Okay, so I do adjust the recipe a little bit and I think it's for the better. So I'll link the recipe I'm using down below. It's from Delish. Um, I think that this is a lot better with rice. So that's why I cooked up some rice already to add to the mix. Whenever I make normal stuffed bell peppers, there's always rice and it really adds something to it. And then also it calls for Gouda for the cheese. I personally haven't tried that just because we always have this like mixed shredded cheese in the fridge now. So I just use that instead of buying like another cheese and last time we made it with this and it was so good. So good that I wanted to make them again like immediately as soon as possible. And then the other thing is it calls for rotisserie chicken. I don't really think you need that. It could be like easier, you know, but I'm just going to cook up some normal chicken breast i'm gonna cook up you know one pound okay i'm getting the chicken ready to go in the instant pot and you just measure out a half cup is what it calls for of hot sauce um frank's red hot is what i used um i'm gonna just coat the bottom with just a little bit i'm gonna put the chickens just straight in okay chickens are in sorry you can't exactly see this but and then I'm gonna pour the rest of the hot sauce on top. And I think I usually cook chicken breasts for around like, I think it's like 13 minutes on high pressure on the Instant Pot. And then I'll just take the temp of them to check them. I think it's usually between 10 and 13 minutes depending on like how thick they are. And once again, it's just really easy. It's like no mess. And then I'll shred it after that. Look how freaking cute my family of multicolored bell peppers is. I was extra at the store the other day and I was like, I want one of every color. So I'm going to core them. You actually cut them in half for this recipe, which for typical bell pepper, stuffed bell peppers, you don't do. And I think it made all the difference because you can really get extra filling in that like little boat 
of the bell pepper. We're gonna prep that and then I'll probably cut up my onion and garlic. It calls for half of an onion and two cloves garlic. I'll probably put in like, you know, three or four. Um, so I'm just gonna do that and play some music and then I'll show you guys the filling. Look how freaking beautiful my peppers are. Oh my gosh. They're not like perfectly cut. I feel like Jared did it last time and he did a better job because some of these, you know, it's going to be a little hard to keep the filling in. So you just lay this in a baking pan and I am going to do a drizzle of olive oil and salt and pepper. Okay, I want to show you my shredded chicken. It just finished in the mixer and I'm just going to plump it in here. So I'm just mixing this, as you can tell, with the onions and garlic that I cooked down and some butter, rice, plop it in. I am gonna add a little bit of extra hot sauce. This is the crystal one, pretty similar to Frank's. I mean, at least as far as ingredients, because, you know, with adding all that rice, I feel like it does take away from the, the spiciness level. I was gonna drizzle these, but I have this avocado oil spray, so I think it'll like more evenly coat all of them. We're gonna do a little bit of that on everyone. Boop. And then I'm gonna use some everyday seasoning and then I'll do salt and pepper. Really, I feel like the bell peppers need to be seasoned because it's literally just like a plain bell pepper. So don't, you know, you don't feel like you need to hold back on the uh, bell pepper seasoning. Here's my pepper. They already look so good, so seasoned and beautiful. And now it's time for cheese. This is what I'm gonna be using, a blend. Mm, it was very good last time, so. Okay, I did add a little bit of cheese at the end to the mixture, because I remember we did that last time. And I feel like it's just really good to have some cheese in your mixture in addition to on top. So now I'm just gonna spoon this as best as I can. I swear Jared did this last time. As best as I can into its little crevasses i tried my filling it was a little spicy i probably didn't need to add that that extra hot sauce but i already did it so i think the cheese on top will help to uh hopefully counteract a little bit of that but it was a little spicier than i than i intended doing the dishes he's not home yet and he owes me and there's a shit ton of dishes so i'm not really gonna measure the cheese because you know i can just kind of see how much is good to like top these with i just want to get a good little coating to cover most of the filling but then not drop too much cheese like i just did 
And then at the end, you do add additional garnishes, which is like my favorite part because it makes it really beautiful. You do like a nice drizzle of ranch. I actually have this dairy-free ranch that is so good, you guys. I can't believe it took me so long to find this, the Hidden Valley plant-powered one. I just hadn't really seen it at the store until like um, the other month. And I really like it, you guys. I think it's delish. So I'm definitely going to use that. And then you do some scallions. Um, on top, y'all know I love a garnish, especially when it includes, I mean, honestly, either ranch or green onion. Here's how they look. A little bit overstuffed the tray, as you can tell, but they're going in. Uh, it says 20 to 25 minutes at 400. I think last time we did right around 25, so I will let you guys know how long they take. All right, you know it's serious when you're getting two oven mitts out, baby. I have had these in for like, I think like 24 minutes, maybe 25. Ooh, they look pretty good. I think they could be the littlest bit cheesier. So I think I'll put them in for another like, I don't know. I, Cause I do really like that like crispy cheese that gets on bell peppers. So I think I'm gonna put them in. I'm gonna bump the heat up and do like another two or three minutes. All right, put the broil on for a couple minutes on low. And I think I got a little more color. Oh yeah, these look perfect. I realized my brightness is up on my camera. So this is a more accurate look. That color though, see I wanted to get some of this like crispy cheese bits cause it's so good. And then we got a little bit of color on the outside of the peppers too, which is really nice. <gasps> Yummy. Okay, now it's time to drizzle and top them. Well, I'll give them like a minute to cool, a couple minutes to cool. I probably should. I am really hungry though, but <gasps> they look so good. And of course, and I'm gonna add more ranch to this because I did not get a very good drizzle. <laughs> Damn, I really am not getting a good drizzle of this ranch, you guys. It's not my day for the ranch. And here we are. Jared's still not home. So he's going to just eat when he gets home. So I guess dinner for one. Comment down below what's your favorite color of bell pepper. I think mine is red. And I'll doll these babies up later because y'all know I got to do my presentation pic for Instagram. What do I look like? Hi guys, I am on my phone because I forgot to grab my camera um, on the way out the door, but I'm headed to work <laughs> as you can tell possibly. Um, we're doing a garage today, but it's not a complete garage makeover. Uh, these people have actually already had their garage done by tidy style before um and i think they got it repainted recently so we're going in and like reorganizing the stuff that's in there so i read in the job notes that it should be a quicker job and there's only three of us on the job which last time i did a garage there was six and it probably took us like six hours so i'm not exactly sure how much time to plan for today but i think it should be a quicker job but we'll see it's gonna be pretty warm today so i am hoping we get done a little bit earlier before it gets to be like i think it's gonna be like 87 or 88 today and last time it was quite warm doing a garage um it's my turn so i think i'm gonna stop vlogging hello guys i am home now um i finished my job at like two today which was probably like around the time I thought we would finish. There was a team of three of us, like I said. Sorry, my clip in the car was like very chaotic earlier. <laughs> I was vlogging on my phone, so I didn't have anywhere to like put it. And then I, the light turned and I was like, I should not be vlogging when I'm making a turn driving and holding my phone. So I just abruptly put it away. Anyway, like I said, it was a garage. We took everything out. They had had it repainted recently and we basically just like re-put and reorganized the stuff. We had to like go up on some ladders and like hang some stuff up that they had. Like they had um, some like pictures and stuff that they had hung up. So they had to take that stuff down when they painted and then we had to like put it back up. And then there was a good amount of lifting today. I feel like I got a workout. I I definitely sweat a good amount today. Anyway, I'm a little hyped up, hyped up right now because I stopped at Starbucks on the way home. So if it's up by now, I'll definitely put it on the screen like a little before and after or like what it looked like at the end. I got to meet a new girl that I've never worked with before that's like new to the team. So that was nice. She was like really helpful and yeah, it was good. I finished up at two, went to get my coffee because I don't really like drinking coffee in the morning, especially like before work. Coffee makes my tummy just like 
a little anxious before I've had any food, so I do, don't like drinking it like on the job or anything because this morning my stomach was really upset and like last night before bed it was upset. So I was like, okay, I am not trying to like mess with my stomach right now. So usually on my way home, if I haven't had a coffee, I'll like stop and treat myself like after a work day or something. My knees got a little dirty today. I got kind of like, I have to wash my shoes. They're in the washer right now. I got a little bit dirty today because we had to like actually clean the floors which was a re request by the client so i was kind of down on my knees like cleaning the floors and wiping them i think it's about like 2 40 now or something i signed up for my 4 30 cycling class i haven't been the past like two weeks or something because i was out of town so it's time to get back to it or maybe i just missed one week I've lost track of time. It feels like I've already been back and down for so long, but I haven't even been back and down for like five days or something. So I don't know what's going on. I've been a busy bee these past few days, but I think until then I'm just gonna kind of relax. I might do some stuff on my laptop just cause I have a little bit of work that I wanna do today, but nothing too crazy cause I had like a full work day. All right guys, I didn't end up going to cycling. I don't know. I just, after work, I wasn't really feeling it today. And so I decided I would go on Thursday because it's going to be it's supposed to be better weather today. Well, today was nice. It was just really hot and I was going to be on the roof today. And I was just, I don't know. Some days I'm just like not feeling a workout and that's okay. You know what I mean? It's all right. I was, I basically got a workout at work today, lifting a bunch of stuff in the garage. So I was also like, yeah, I just kind of want to relax. So I was chilling on the couch for a while. I did do some stuff on my laptop, a little bit of like worky stuff. And now I'm, I wouldn't say reorganizing my pantry, but I'm moving some stuff around because I ended up clearing these three baskets out of my closet recently. And I have these same ones in the pantry. They're just from Target. I don't know if they still sell these exact ones because they kind of switch out their stuff all the time. But I have a bunch of these and I just had, I moved them down here to like use them in the pantry and then I never like filled them and they've just been kind of sitting on the floor and I've been thinking about it and I had it on my like to-do list for this week. So I'm trying to like shift the stuff, some of the stuff that's in these clear ones, just the stuff like this bin that's like really messy looking in the clear bins. I think I'm gonna keep like one of them for this kind of stuff. I don't know if you can see what that is, but it's like backup spices, oils, it's little like bouillon. I don't really know how I would like categorize that, like spices and, but it seems to all go together <laughs> for me. There's really nothing wrong with the clear. I really like this size, but I feel like when everything's not like super uniform, it just looks really chaotic like this in the clear because you can see everything. So I'd almost rather use the clear for stuff that's like, more streamlined and it looks nicer you guys know my brain it's just <laughs> that's what i've been up to i had a little bit of a change of plans today i changed into a giant t-shirt and i've just been like relaxing i've been watching um the ultimatum queer love on netflix i've been enjoying it i think i liked the first one maybe a little bit more maybe just because it was like new i do still really like this one i am invested so i've been watching that while i like do this but shoes on yet but I think I'm just gonna wear white tennis shoes just keep it simple but I have this adorable little pastel high-waisted skirt it's 
from my newly it's my first time wearing it i'll put the brand on the screen because i don't remember off the top of my head and i paired it with this is actually like a workout top this is one of my girlfriend tops but you know it's kind of also like a tank top it's just like workout clothes material but i thought the colors went together so perfectly this is like one of my favorite color palettes you guys know just like baby pastel shades of blue purple pink yellow green i mean truly anything pastel so I just showered and blew out my hair. I was watching my sister's, I don't remember if it was her last vlog, but I hadn't finished one of her vlogs. That was like an hour long, so I was watching that while I was getting ready and it finished, like right when I finished getting ready, which was perfect. Um, I think I'm gonna sit down for a second with you guys so I can talk to you really quick. I'm sitting in Squirtle's dog bed. <laughs> But you know what, this thing is just so comfy, I have to be honest. This like Costco doggy bed. I sit in it all the time. It's literally like comfier and more squishy than our bed. So these dogs really do be living a good life. So today I just got some work stuff done and did my whole like long shower tan blow out my hair routine, which I really don't do that often, but it honestly looks so much better when I do. My hair is growing out slowly, but it feels so much healthier than even like a few months ago, just, oh my gosh, very happy with the progress of my hair and just wanna keep growing it and getting it more healthy and everything. But anyway, um, today is Wednesday. Squirtle has a vet appointment today, which I did wanna talk about just for a minute. I don't wanna like harp on it too much because, um, but I did wanna give you guys an update. So Squirtle did have another seizure two weeks ago. Um, I didn't really talk about it to like anyone except Jared, honestly. But yeah, he has had three seizures now in a year and a half time period. He's, if you guys haven't heard me talk about this before, which I know a lot of you have, I, I have talked about it in like two videos before. So I'll put cards up there to like the past updates that I've talked about this. He actually hadn't had one for 10 months. So it was going on a year and I kind of thought like I just got into that like place in my brain where I was like oh like we you know we figured it out like we he's not gonna have any more you know obviously like you want to be positive in that situation with your pet right you don't want to think every day which is really hard for me to not because like I have a lot of like triggers now with thinking that he's gonna have one all the time especially when it like does happen more recently I get like for the next like couple months I get like really just like woken in the middle of the night like whenever he moves or something that like he's gonna have one and I start like you know just having that whole I just start like sweating and like having like a little whole thing myself which does not help and 95 percent of the time it's like totally fine and it's just me like worrying about it and having like I literally get triggered from his past situations but anyway i did not think i was gonna cry um let me pull myself together because i do feel positive um we're gonna go to the vet today to try and get him on some medication um so i called his vet the day it happened last time and i just kind of gave them an update and the last few times they said to just keep monitoring it and because they had happened so like far apart you know we were just going to keep monitoring it and that you know he probably didn't need to be on medication unless it was like a more regular thing anyway it hadn't happened for 10 months and i was getting really positive like oh my gosh it's never gonna happen again i thought i knew what it was which i still don't want to talk about because i don't want to scare anyone but i kind of think that that you know now i think that that wasn't the cause because he did have another one and we had eliminated what i thought it was what I had like convinced myself. Oh, this is like the reason. Um, and he did have another one. And it's just very scary. And I, I know that he is okay. I mean, I have to believe that he's okay. And he lives like other than the very like small, small, small percentage of time that his body is like going through that. Like the rest of his life I know is so happy and so fulfilled. And he's like still his complete self um 100 which makes me so happy he's completely how he's always been he is getting a little older but other i mean other than that he's his complete normal self jared's actually walking the dogs right now before i leave with squirtle or i'm sure they would be with me right now to to comfort me but so i don't know if they're gonna want to do tests on him today he already got tests done like the first time it happened but if they do want to do tests on him today i'll probably 
you know, say that's okay just to kind of see. I'm gonna leave in a few minutes. So I guess I'll chat with you guys in the car. I am hoping to run like one errand to go to the bulk store today as well. Um, I just need to grab a couple of things from there. Some body wash I want to get and then I want to get some bulk laundry powder. So I think I'll do that at some point this afternoon. And then other than that today, just focusing on editing this vlog so far because I want to get it up for you guys tomorrow. I am like slightly delayed with my uploads. I wanted to get this up think by today which is Wednesday and I'm probably gonna have well I will not have it up until at earliest tomorrow so I apologize I have been a little a little behind with my video schedule yeah so I'll talk to you guys in the car but thank you for listening I didn't intend to get like an, I didn't think I was gonna get emotional there because to tell you the complete truth like two weeks ago in the two weeks since this I've just been trying to remain like very positive and calm for the most part I haven't like really allowed myself to get very emotional other than like right after it happened and then I just was like okay Lindsay we're gonna call the vet we're gonna get him on some medication it's gonna be totally fine so hopefully today it will be good so I'll let you guys know how it goes but yeah keep keep Squirtle in your thoughts if you don't mind because he's just literally my son so yeah yeah baby we're really enjoying our puppuccino after our appointment. Got one for Cholula. Hi you guys, so I dropped off Squirtle after the vet. Basically, um, they said that they don't give medication for seizure, seizures usually unless they're happening like once a month or more or if it lasts like five minutes or longer. So I didn't really know that, but it is good to know. So um, they said kind of like the best and like really only thing I can do is just to keep monitoring him um, and that it could be so many different things that like cause seizures in dogs and that it's it doesn't mean it's epilepsy it could be epilepsy but it could be something else or it just could just could be like random it it's just hard to know there's not really much answers they did say if I wanted to he could have like some testing done um, which he did have blood work done I don't remember if I already said that earlier he did have blood work done after the first time. They didn't find anything weird. And today they just gave him like a physical exam and gave me the option if I, you know, wanted to have more like tests done that I could schedule that. Um, they didn't really seem like that was something they were pushing for. So she said she could go in and do like an MRI or something, which obviously is like pretty intense. And um, his behavior has been totally normal. And like I said, other than like the very rare times that this has happened, I feel like he's led his complete normal life. So um, I don't really think I'm going to be doing any more tests for now because the MRI she said was like around $2,000. It could be more. It could be a little less, but that's kind of like what she gave me, which obviously is a lot to do. And I don't know, I get kind of scared about going in and like seeing stuff, doing stuff like that. If it's not strongly recommended, right? I think at this point, I mean, I could change my mind, but I think at this point, you know, they said the best thing to do was just monitor him and that, you know, I shouldn't be too too worried and too scared if the seizures are only lasting about one minute and they did give me some more recommendations and gave me a little gave me a little bit more answers to my questions that I did have as far as like when it's actually happening how I can best like deal with the situation which I have gotten you know some answers to that in the past as well so I don't feel like it was like a wasted appointment but I, I, I am glad to know I guess that they don't feel like he needs to be on the medication and they wouldn't recommend that so um, yeah, that's an update on that. I dropped Squirtle off and had a little bit of leftovers for lunch with Jared. And now I'm at the bulk store. I'm only going to grab a couple things. But yeah, that is um, the update. Definitely glad I went and got their advice and their opinions and everything. And he got like his, you know, he got a, like a wellness, like a physical exam. And they didn't see anything that was abnormal. So I feel good about that. And yeah, I guess that's kind of the best that we can do for now. I feel like I'm more equipped and more calm every time it has happened and I'll, although I obviously hope that he doesn't have any more, it's like I, I do need to still be prepared and be like as calm as I can for him and I feel a little bit more like okay, a little bit more calm just after like talking to them about everything. 
um, and that it is like pretty normal to see this in dogs. Um, and there's a lot of questions that I guess just unfortunately probably won't get answered as to like what causes this because it can be so many different things or it can just be kind of random is basically what the doctor was saying but anyway that is an update on that thank you guys for listening and I know that you guys just always leave the most like supportive kind comments when I do talk about this so I did want to give just an update and um I know I got emotional earlier but I would say overall I am feeling like pretty good despite obviously being very upset that it did end up happening again because I was feeling very like confident of that maybe we had found what what it was but other than that I think the best I can do is just to love my little guy as much as I can every single day and try to be positive so that's what I'm gonna do all right heading into the bulk store finishing up my editing a little late I wanted to get this done yesterday but Jared just brought me breakfast upstairs it looks so good we have a little bagel with some cream cheese a Trader Joe's hash brown and some bacon oh so delish I'm having a little chai iced chai latte and I was really getting hungry so perfect timing okay guys it's Thursday I meant to end off this vlog yesterday. Um, all I ended up getting from the bulk store was bulk laundry powder and then I got this like bulk um, brightener also that I'm gonna use for laundry and then I just got like sweet potatoes and carrots. So I didn't really do a haul because it was pretty minimal but that's what I got. They didn't have body wash which I wanted to get so I think I'm just gonna order the plain products one. The rest of yesterday was pretty chill. Um, so I just want to end off the vlog today. I just finished editing it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know I got a little, you know, I got a little emotional in this one, but I, as I said in like the last clip, I am feeling like pretty good. I think it's been hard for me to accept, like, even though I don't feel like Squirtle is that old, I really don't think he's that old. It like, it's hard for me to see him like get older every year and just I'm such a worrier so it's it literally impossible for me not to just like go to the worst case scenario and stuff like that when something you know happens with his health that's scary you know and I have to just remind myself that a lot of dogs do actually have seizures and live very happy normal lives and it's something that vets see all the time in dogs and he doesn't need to be on medication at this point and just trying to remind myself of like that he's living his complete normal life and just sometimes it is hard to just be positive when you are such a worrier and I think that's a big reason why one of the other reasons why I'm not really interested in having kids which is a whole other thing but i think i would seriously be the most worried mess literally every single day of my life <laughs> anyway i do hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i will have another vlog or different video up very soon getting kind of back on my like trying to upload around every eight days if you did want to check out my patreon my sesh video is up so i'll link it on the screen and you can check out all my other secret content that's on my patreon that unlocks when you become a patron if you are interested as well thank you guys as always for watching i truly love you so much i appreciate you and i'll see you guys very soon in the next video bye